Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, learn about the origins of the Adventist Student Literature Evangelism Program. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On December 7, 1946, Adventist radio ministry began in Madagascar when Jean Zocher, a Swiss missionary, broadcast in French. Over the next three years, Zocher broadcast 149 times on a range of biblical subjects. On December 8, 1901, veteran evangelist Oren S. Ferrin dedicated an Adventist church in the town of Sheridan in the U.S. state of Wyoming. Ferrin's preaching in Sheridan in 1895 had created a church of 20 members who lacked a place of worship for six years. The church they built was the first Seventh-day Adventist church to be built in Wyoming. Sadly, Ferrin died just three months later, age 52. On December 9, in 1907, E.R. Palmer, director of the General Conference Publishing Department, recommended to the General Conference Committee the creation of a scholarship scheme for literature evangelists in the North American division. His proposal was adopted, and later it spread around the world. Since that time, thousands of Adventist students have earned money for college tuition by selling Adventist literature during their summer vacations. On December 10 in 1894, Frederick W. Bishop and Thomas H. Davis arrived in Valparaiso, Chile, on a ship that had sailed from San Francisco. They were the first church workers sent as missionaries to Chile. But they joined Claire A. Nolan, a self-supporting literature evangelist who had moved into Chile from Argentina two months earlier. That was This Week in Adventist History.